Welcome back to the show. Now, Robert, how will communities in Fiji benefit from this project? In so many ways. Uh, communities, especially the communities that are located near landfills, they're going to benefit by not having the contamination getting into the water supply. The smell of a landfill is never very good for the communities in those areas. And then we're also doing uh, fundraising events for communities to encourage people to clean up, to pick up waste and look at it as uh, something that's going to help by picking up the waste and bringing it to us. You know, we can process it and turn it into something good rather than it go into the sea or into a hole in the ground. And uh, we encourage people to not bury the waste and not burn the waste. Once our, our processing center is set up, we want you to bring us all the waste, even uh, uh, from farming, you know, uh, leftover biomass from farming. We can process all of that. So there's just about anything that there is can be processed into something usable. So rather than burn it, rather than bury it, bring it to us. We'll take care of it. Uh, will locals be employed in at what scale and what type of employment will be available to them? Yes, lots of people will be employed uh, because we're going to run three shifts a day, 24-7. Uh, because we produce electricity with our process, you know, electricity runs for 24 hours. So we'll have three shifts a day, uh, sorters, operators, uh, all the people involved in the whole operation uh, will be running three shifts a day. So we're talking each site, somewhere between 50 to 100 people per site that will be working around the clock. So we're talking about some massive cleanup for Fiji here. <laughs> so how many sites altogether are you looking at establishing in the country? Uh, right now, at least three different sites. And uh, we're looking at the Denaral because there's so much activity there. Uh, maybe setting up a one ton per hour system there. And then, the, uh, like I said, the Namboro, that's where the big processing center will be. And then uh, the Latoka land, uh, landfill. I uh, met with the Latoka City Council, and they shared with me a foreshore development plan that they have for the foreshore there. And the only problem is there's a landfill right next door. So hotels and this, this uh, development that they want to do, uh, we need to take care of the landfill first so that it's out of sight. So out of sight and out of mind for the tourists that will be coming for the development. So uh, we're, we're excited. At least three different places and maybe more. And we're also going to have collection sites at, um, at different jetties and different ports so that we can also take in the rubbish from the outer islands. So right now I know that most of the islands either bury or burn their trash. But we're going to have a pickup system and a drop-off system and a collection system where everybody can bring their waste to us to be processed rather than burned or buried. So very was, yeah. Apart from working with the ministry or uh, with the government, uh, are there other organizations that uh, you feel the need to work with them, like NGOs or environmentalist organizations that do cleanups on a monthly basis? Yes, absolutely. There's uh, several organizations we're already talking to and working with. Uh, one is called Matanataki. Uh, that's a, a group that's concerned about the coral reefs. And um, like uh, we talked just a couple of days ago about this, one of the biggest problems with the coral reefs is sewage runoff. You know, there's sewage drain pipes coming from sewage processing plants that drain right into the sea right now. And our plan is to redirect those sewage drain pipes back into our system so that no more sewage goes into the sea. That's the number one thing I feel like is going to help to uh, restore the coral reefs and the marine life that's definitely being affected by sewage drain pipes and runoff from, from uh, landfills. So once we get rid of the landfills, there's no more runoff. Once we redirect the, the sewage drain pipes, there's no more sewage drain going into the sea. So this is a, a massive plan, but it can be done because the technology is there. 
and the desire is there to help clean up Fiji and all the South Pacific Islands. You know, everybody's talking about climate change and what can we do to help, you know, lower emissions and keep the, uh, the, the temperature down globally. Well, I think the biggest thing that we can do is take care of our waste and take care of it in a sustainable way, like producing electricity out of it. And thank you so much, Robert, for that. Now, for, um, before we wrap up for tonight's show, uh, for uh, in countries, in places that you have established these kind of technologies, how successful are they? Uh, very successful. In America, in California, also in Houston, Texas, there's systems operating right now as we speak. And they've been operating for several years, and uh, they, they're operating perfectly, so we're very confident about the technology. I'm very confident about it. Thank you, Robert. Thank you so much for uh, uh, coming on the show tonight. Is there anything else you would like to add? Uh, I would just like to say that, uh, you know, Fiji is a beautiful place. And uh, for the tourists that are coming from around the world, I think it will help with tourism to know that Fiji has definitely gone green. Uh, using technology like this to produce electricity rather than diesel generators or other non-green forms of electricity. You know, that's an, an attraction. You know, people are looking for eco-friendly, eco-tourism spots. And Fiji already has the name. It's known as paradise. And we want to keep it that way. So getting a handle on the waste now and devising this system to take care of it on a daily basis is very important and it's the it's our mission matter of fact to uh, help with climate change and actually do something about climate change that can really make a difference so <laughs> and that was your close-up show for this week for feedbacks or comments please feel free to call us on 330-5100 or email us at news at fijitv.com.fg i sure do appreciate your company for your time from the team and i have a blasted week ahead and good night